Hello and welcome. Today, after many months of testing, I finally managed to get the latest drivers of NVIDIA to work on my old 800ADM. Now, what do I mean by old NVIDIA drivers? Well, as you may or may not know, the Kepler mobile support was ended with the latest drivers being 4 to 5.13 or 0.25 so if I were to check on NVIDIA site right now what drivers can I download for my graphics card if I could properly spell it and find a proper link okay let's go so if I were to find GeForce GTX 800, 800 ADM, OK search. We see that the latest drivers available are 4 to 5.31. Now if you check in my NVIDIA control panel, you can see that I have 436.15 installed. And uh, everything works exactly the way as it was before. So how did I do it? How did I manage to install latest drivers? on my laptop despite the official support ended at 4 to 5.31 well the majority of help goes to this guy j95 who is running this site where he basically modifies the drivers removes the telemetry removes basically all of the unwanted junk you don't want on your laptop but what he also does is change the nff ENF files so that you can install the uh, drivers that were not supposed to be installed on your device uh, because as you know the Kepler support is only ended on laptops despite the laptops having a lot stronger Kepler graphics card than on desktop but Nvidia said yes yeah, screw them even though that GPUs are maybe like less than five years old so here we are this is how you do it. You will go to the site, uh, link provided in description of course, and then as new drivers get released you go down and find the version. Now he has two versions available. At first glance it may seem confusing because there is a lot of here and the UI could be a bit more user friendly, but anyway beggars can be choosers you go down and find this standard mods then you simply click on the latest one that you want so let's say you want this one you just click on it gonna take it to mega and then just click download now I already did it so I don't have to download it twice once you've done that because you are using Asus and it has Optimus you download this one same shit as before what this is essentially if we open it up this is basically modified INF in which the driver installer gets told what GPU is available and whether or not it's supported now Nvidia basically removed this so it makes it unable to be installed but with this modification you can install it again. Out of this ENF folder you're gonna take NVAMI and NVDSP and then simply go where you downloaded the drivers, extract the EXE using 7-zip or WinRAR and simply drag in these two NVAs, uh, NVAMI and NVDSP. Once you've done that, restart the PC and disable driver enforcement. How do you do that? You can click start, power, then hold shift on your keyboard and click restart. Then you get the options, you go to advanced setup, change startup behavior and then you get another window and once that window appears you press 7 and basically your window starts normally but it has driver enforcement disabled. Once you do that 
you simply go to the uh, driver folder and just start the setup. Here, you're gonna install it, and then for some reason, and this took like three months to figure it out because I had no idea why. Basically, everything works, everything is recognized, GPU is recognized, options are recognized, but for some weird reason, whenever you play games, it's using Intel drivers, I mean Intel GPU instead of Nvidia one. So that's why I didn't even bother making this tutorial before because I had no way of figuring it out. I even asked on forums and of course, as usually, no one had any idea. And then by some stupid whim, I decided to check the settings because Windows 10 added this tab where you can set what GPU you want to be used, even though you have it set in drivers, even though you have set it in NVIDIA inspector, it doesn't matter. It's not going to use it. But once you set it GPU to NVIDIA in here, then it works. What you want to do is go to settings. Then you click on, I think you click on, yeah, settings and you click system. You go display at the bottom. You have graphic settings. And then basically just click browse and add the game you want to be using your GPU. So like Witcher, basically the whole Steam files, all of the games have to be set to Nvidia. And then once it's here, just click options and high performance. And that's it. That's <laughs> now you're going to be using your 800 ADM instead of, uh, instead of integrated graphics. Why was this disabled in the first place? I have no clue. But that's it. Once you do this, you can actually install the latest drivers and voila, it works. If you have any questions or are confused, feel free to ask me in the questions. But other than that, yeah, Kepler Mobile can still use the latest drivers. And uh, till the next time.